so you got your first watch then at, at what stage uh did you get into like the uh buying and selling of watches and how old were you at that time when 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 you did that yeah so graduated from high school and then um the year after sort of in college when i was um not wanting to study i started just sort of looking at watches and seeing wow these are really you know these are this is an investment potential because when you look at a watch and you say oh this could definitely go up in value or this is underpriced why are they selling it for this um that was sort of when it started so it was literally when i turned 19 i started researching um i guess you could call it flipping watches but really i was i was doing it from an enthusiast perspective so mm -hmm. i was a little bit more on the vintage side um and that was sort of the start for me where it was you know i'm in college i don't want to study i'm just gonna take a look at some watches for for this for this time so perfect okay can can maybe you walk us through like your first actual sale of like a, a luxury or vintage watch like how did you acquire it um who was the buyer and uh maybe even if you remember the numbers at all um or the memorable sale that you had um as it relates to a luxury uh watch yeah um so i actually remember um the the watch i don't remember the reference for it but it was a vintage watch um it was a um watch from a company called Universal Genève. Um, they're a Swiss brand and they're really known for chronographs uh, or vintage chronographs. There's, mm -hmm. um, they're called uni compacts, which is just a mm -hmm. fancy word of saying it's a, it's a watch with a, with a timer on it. Okay. And um, so I noticed that this was a, a watch that collectors really loved. I was on forums and sort of reading a lot of articles um, about these watches. And it seemed like there was a real, um, love for the uni compacts so started looking online uh i don't suggest this um i, I was on ebay uh just seeing what they had out there and um ended up finding a uni compacts that was in really great condition being sold by um a, 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 a couple who were just um trying to get a little bit of cash which is an unfortunate story because you know you're um you're taking a watch away from them you know I want to say it at the top of this video, I'm an enthusiast for watches. Like I just love the mechanical aspects of them, not really like the the money they can make off of them. But um, so, you know, obviously they were accepting best offers, so I made my best offer. And I think because they were a little bit looking for cash, it was a little bit easier to find a deal. I think I got it for about a thousand U.S. dollars. Not a not a lot of money, or I should actually say thousand dollars is a lot of money to some people but yeah. not a lot of money for this reference i'd say these were probably going for about 1800 at the time so bought the watch and for me it was actually just to wear it and enjoy it like that was why i bought it but then i started sort of looking at other other watches and you know in college you're you know thousand bucks is a lot for a college student so i was uh decided now oh, i think i'll sell this watch um and i ended up selling it for about 2200 at the time so it had appreciated wow. a little bit in the time that i owned it um it went to to a, a good collector friend of mine that i went to high school with um he was looking for uni compacts he's sort of a this specific collector is really into uh vintage chronographs he's got a, a wide range of uh, chronographs in his collection everything from patek Philippe vintage um, to Longines chronographs and so he was looking to add something like this so i think meeting that need was a little bit helpful in the in the transaction at the end of the day so so it sounds like it almost happened a little bit by accident like you bought it for yourself and then at some point maybe you 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 wanted to move on to another watch or you saw that there was a buyer out there and essentially it, you got to enjoy it but also you got to make a profit on it 